What's up guys? I'm gonna do a quick little simple one today. So a lot of times when I'm working on jet skis, the biggest problem I have is something being on a trailer, but it needs to be on the cart. So I've gotten pretty good at moving them off the trailer onto the cart. You kind of need a cart if you're moving stuff around from trailer to trailer because you know why have something that's broken on a trailer this one's actually not broken but i kind of want to go get two other skis so i'm going to take it off and put it on the cart and then i think i'm going to get another cart for that one a metal cart that i know one of that is for sale so i'm going to show you my little technique i use to uh, get skis off the trailer and on the cart with one person um and i'll be right back and show you that after i fix the cart because i'll show you And we're back. As you can see, I moved it down just a little bit. You can see the part that's not painted. Um, I didn't level it. It looks really unlevel in video, but I think it's probably more level in real life, but that's not important for the sake of today's video. So, what we're gonna do, this is the important part. We're gonna take the back strap off. I always pull with back straps. I don't know. I know a lot of you guys probably don't. messing around with the bunks when I put it on. So, let's go over a couple of key important things. So you'll notice this trailer is not hooked to anything. The wheels are chalked. And I do have the trailer and the cart tied together. So that should be good enough where I can just get back here behind here and just grunt this thing on here and let you guys watch it laughing. Put your leg between that. It's probably a bad idea. 
Now at this point you can see my strapping situation has failed, but we are more on the cart than we are on the trailer at this point, so we should be okay. Keep in mind the majority of the weight is like right here where the motor is. Press it to part. Okay. Looking pretty close. I'm gonna pull it back a little farther. And I think that's sufficient. Now you might be saying, why did you take a running ski off the trailer to go get non-running skis to put on the trailer? Well, I don't know, but now what I can do is Ski free and clear. Now, what I also can do is put my weight on it. Put this around my hand. My master plan. I'm going to go handheld real quick. Whoop. Watching myself getting attacked by a mosquito as I pick it up. So this trailer, I want to use as my service trailer, right? It's got two spots. I have a lot of stuff that doesn't need to live on the trailer all the time, like this. And say like the stand-up jet ski or say the old Malibu surf jet. Those things don't need to live on a trailer. They're not going to be lever left outside really, just for use. So having this extra double trailer to just go pick up projects or haul whatever you want to ride that weekend to the lake is going to be invaluable. I did come up with a situation where anytime I want to test something, I end up having a half loaded double trailer. So also having an extra single trailer to just throw whatever you want on it to go test it, i.e. this or these or whatever. Now I think I'm going to keep this rig together as far as today is concerned. Um, so pulling a double trailer with two on it is good, but when you just have one, it's really unstable. Something I try to avoid doing. But now, this one has been tested and it runs, but it's really hard to cold start, so I bought a primer kit for it. So that's next on my list, is what I'm going to do when I stop this video. So I'm going to go in my garage and get the old car that's in there running, put it back, probably somewhere in that area or this area and then I can push uh, pardon my grass I haven't mowed in three weeks this and here where it's cool so that's kind of the master plan because I've got a bunch of projects going but man it's just too freaking hot I only had about 10 minutes to do this before sunset, so I figured I'd just pop on and do it and show you guys how to, this is my, how to take a jet ski off of a trailer and put it onto a cart. Maybe next video, I'll put this back on that trailer and take the Yamaha and put it on the metal cart I'm about to buy probably tomorrow and then so I can work on it. Because working out here in the mosquitoes sucks. I live in Oklahoma and it's, uh, I've probably gotten 14 mosquito bites in this 11 minutes, so. Anywho, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. I appreciate you watching any videos I ever post. Um, seems like I'm going to be doing a lot of jet ski content just because I've been loading myself up with a lot of jet ski projects. And 
if that's what you like, uh, feel free and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna get, try to keep putting stuff out. I want to. I want to keep. I want to keep trying. So I'm gonna keep trying. And uh, you know, if you thought this was interesting or stupid or whatever, comment down below. Tell me how dumb I was and how I did it wrong and how I almost smashed my foot off. Uh, if you liked it, shoot me a thumbs up. It's a little button there on the bottom of the video somewhere in this ballpark. There's an up and a down. You can give me whatever you want. Doesn't matter to me. I appreciate you guys watching. Chris Basil Builds, tuning out.